Warning, this video is not recommended for child viewers. If you are under 13, you might want to click off. I will be discussing some issues of mine, while also ranting on some recent events. I often try to avoid making rants because I want to have positive videos on my channel. But unfortunately, there's so much going on in the recent months that I can't seem to avoid it. The kissing booth is still a dislike, but I have found things that are worse than that. But I don't want to talk about stuff like that for too long, since I just want to get to the main point of this video, which is the Mary Sue. If you were wondering, the Mary Sue is a feminist website that may also makes articles on LGBT and racial diversity slash empowerment. And now, let's get on to this thing. The first controversy I'd like to mention is that they mocked South Park for making fun of political correctness, which I think is really dumb, because why would you want to criticize that show? It's a satire. It's supposed to be funny. The second notable controversy would probably be that you cannot please them. If you make a superhero of color, apparently you also have to make them queer. As with their example of Black Panther. Oh, come on. You can't be pleased. It's like, okay, I'm starting to get theories of what kind of shows you hate. I'm guessing you want to ban Alvin and the Chipmunks because the Chipettes are literally them. Rule 63, as in the literally female versions of the other characters. Oh, and it reinforces purple as a girl's color, which even I disagree is a... It's, it's not. <laughs> it's gender neutral. And uh, they probably also hate Spongebob because there's only, like, four female characters, three protagonists, or what, whatever that, you get the idea, only Sandy, Karen, and Pearl, really. Uh, again, I don't care, and I'ma watch those shows until I die. Okay, the next controversy is my opinion. It's not a main issue that multiple people have. Um, they made an article saying that Samus from Metroid was transgender. Now, their reason for it, in my opinion, does not hold up, and they're claiming she's transgender because she was referred to as a new half by one of the people working on the game, and I do not consider this to be- I, I do not- I, I, I'll believe that Samus is a bird, but I won't believe that she's transgender. So, um, no, 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 I don't agree with you, sorry. The next notable controversy is the 11th listed on the Rotten Websites wiki. Yes, I do not- I- oh my goodness. I- I'm just angry at this one. Ugh. I have so many favorite male celebrities, and they are being accused of stuff that they most likely didn't do. Now that just makes me mad. Uh, the- uh, I don't- I'm not- uh, no, no, no. I- I- I don't believe- no, I believe they're all fake. I- 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 I do not think that they are true, and we should stop before we accuse Frank Oz, Will Ferrell, and Barney the Dinosaur, because that would just get ridiculous, am I right? Wait, what the heck? They also push radical beliefs into every form of entertainment. Yes, every form of entertainment. I think these people are best friends with Real Girl, who's someone I heard of recently. She hates Monsters University, and she hates Chipwrecked. Which I actually can't believe, because those are the least worthy targets of your feminist beliefs. You actually think that those movies are sexist when it didn't do- I mean, yeah, Chipwrecked is sexist. A little bit. It's a little offensive because, like, the way that they treat Britney in that film's terrible. With Jeanette, nothing bad involving her. Eleanor is okay as well. But, oh my goodness, her, and maybe even Simon. And also the fact that the female characters had more outfits in the movie than the guys. Like, they were wearing their dirty hoodies for the whole film. Well, other than a few scenes, but you get the idea. And the final controversy that I will mention is that they portray fan bases as sexist and anti-women, even though they aren't. Example, Star Wars, which has Princess Leia and some other female characters, and Final Fantasy, which I'm pretty sure that has female characters too, but I can't picture any in my head, because all I can think about is like that redhead girl from Kingdom Hearts, which is different, but still, what were you thinking? 
And so, that is the end to this video. But I would like to say a few things beforehand. So, yes, I do still hate the Mary Sue, and I think that they are a terrible source of information, and that they freak out about every piece of diversity, which you don't need to. Sometimes diversity is shown in terrible shows, which I think are the worst, and I ignore that by saying either they're actually homophobic, which nobody realizes, or that, what were they thinking? They were trying to make it better by making it woke, but nope, you don't need to make it woke, it just needs to be good. Example, Drawn Together is funny, but not because it has diversity and because a majority of the cast implied to be queer. It's because it has good humor and is a perfect parody of your childhood. Your childhood. The audiences. Uh, as most people would probably be familiar with Spongebob Squarepants, Pokemon, The Legend of Zelda, The Little Mermaid, Betty Boop, etc. So you'd enjoy that. But with other shows, no, not a good idea. The point is, you have to be entertaining. You don't need to be diverse. You can do both, but... The quality is always over that.